up, y'all? Big Jake here, Odeed. All my other fucking names. First off, sipping on some uh, Schlitz malt liquor out the can. Not as good as uh, the bottle, but not bad. We're gonna do some uh, fresh wild ahi tuna. Got this from Costco today. A couple things when you're doing tuna. Um, as you can see, this is a nice deep red color. Um, it's not cloudy or gray. When it's cloudy or gray, do not buy it. That means it's old. Someone's texting me. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Dorf. Did I get my shirt yet? Maybe he means that shirt. Then yes, I got it. All right. <laughs> Check my new video, Dorf. It's on there. All right. Um, so here's how we're going to do the tuna. Uh, I got a quarter cup of olive oil, cold pressed olive oil. And I took some of the uh, lemon zest off of this little end of the lemon here and zested it in there. Um, then we'll take this juice, put it in here. As everybody knows, lemon is nice with fish. All right, then we have two cloves of garlic. And then one tablespoon basil, one of oregano. This is all fresh from the backyard. Um, if you don't grow herbs in your backyard, you probably get it in the vegetable section at your store. And if they don't have it, then of course you can use dried if you have to. This is fresh chives. Let me stir this up. I might want to put a little bit more olive oil in there because it's a lot of herbs. But what you're kind of going for is a light, aromatic kind of marinade. Um, with ahi tuna, you don't want something too heavy. Let me uh, put some more olive oil in there. Just to kind of give it a little more. I mean, with olive oil and just a little bit more lemon. You really can't go wrong. Oh, you know what I forgot to put in here? Silly me. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Gotta have that, right? And a little bit of salt. I mean, hell, everything needs salt and pepper, doesn't it? Mm, it's pretty standard. Yeah. Almost <laughs> forgot it. So it's kind of like a goopy marinade here. Almost looks this. like pesto. Yeah, it kind of looks like a pesto. Now when you get your fish, you want to smell it. it. smells like nothing. It should not smell like a fucking whorehouse. It should smell like nothing at all. Alright? That's a good fucking piece of fish right there. See, the, the sell-by date on here is June 30th and it's the 24th right now. If you go to the store and the fish is on sale and it's that day it needs to be sold, more than likely it's going to stink. And I don't like stinky fish at all. So we're going to kind of pat it on here. That's beautiful. Yeah. And you'll probably let this sit, or I'm going to let it sit. It's like a ruby. Yeah. Romancing the stone. Yeah, yeah that's what this pesto is. It's all romancing the ruby. Yeah. So I'm going to let this marinate. It's in kind of in the shape of a heart. An hour, two hours max. Um, you don't really want to do it longer than that, or you'll start to overpower the fish. And then if you do it like overnight or something, it'll make the fish kind of mushy. So you don't want to do that either. So anyways, we'll come back when I cook it later, y'all. All right, guys, we got the uh, ahi tuna marinated here. And what I do is I cook it on top of the foil. This is a uh, heavy duty non-stick foil and the reason why I do that is put this on 
And uh, right now it's pretty uh, coated in the marinade. But once I flip it, I'll take the rest of this marinade and then drizzle some on it every time I flip it over. I'll uh, drizzle more and more and more on it to keep it moist while it cooks. So it's kind of the way I do it. Um, I cook it to where it's, I guess I'd say medium maybe, to where in the middle you might have like this much redness. Um, a lot of people just sear it and eat it like that, which is cool. It kind of just depends on how done you want your tuna. Um, when mine's cooked, that's kind of how I like mine because when you get it to that kind of consistency, um, it kind of tastes like steak, sort of. So, and then you still have that kind of in the middle that, uh, you know. The firmness. The, yeah, it's like still juicy and um, moist, but kind of grilled tasting and you get all that smoke and stuff as you can see. Smoking like crazy, so. Anyways, that's kind of uh, what we're going to do. To get it to the doneness that I want, I'll probably do um, maybe six minutes each side, something like that. And then, ch and then I'll check it from there. Um, you can cut into it or, you know, whatever and kind of see where you're at. And then um, once it's done, it's done. I don't really let it rest or anything after that. So I'll, uh, I'll show you the done product um, once it's finished. What up, guys? So here's the uh, finished product. Um, I did five minutes on one side right around 450 flipped it over put some more marinade on it another five minutes around 450 then flipped it over one more time more marinade and then like um, another minute just to be sure so let's cut it open right in the middle and see uh, what kind of consistency or doneness we have here so that's kind of where we're at take a look so it's um about medium rare probably right around there um now if you cook it this way you might want to make sure it's a pretty good quality grade of uh, tuna because if not you could have uh, bad problems but um, you can ask your fishmonger or whoever if it's you know kind of like a sushi grade tuna or whatever um, I've had Costco tuna before and even eating it like this so it's not a problem so anyways this is kind of what it kind of just flakes off there as you can see nice and juicy the marinade is really light like I said it kind of tastes like a steak so we'll have this homegrown tomatoes and a little rice side that Wish made so dinner for us Peace.